Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess. And today I am going to make the final pages for my Go Wild planner. Um, this is part four of this video series, I believe. Um, and we are going to finish it up because next week is Go Wild and um, I need to get my planner finished so that I can use it. So we're going to continue using Live Love Go Wild from Live Love Posh. And at the end of this video, I'll go through the whole planner and we'll take a look at all of the pages that I have created so far. So for today, I'm going to make um, another memory page. So I, in the last video, I created um, like a double page of uh, four memories. And we're going to use these like Bujo style stickers uh, to do another, another set for some memory keeping. I think I'm going to bring in this um, like washi type sticker along the top and the bottom. Um, the set, like the set of stickers that I'm using, they, it doesn't really go, but I do have like one of these left over and a couple of these stickers that I feel like if I bring this like washi style sticker in, then I can sort of mix these in with these. So let's see, let's see how that is going to look. Um, so we'll just start with putting this along the top here. And I do think I'm gonna go along the top and the bottom of both pages. Let me see how many of these I have. Okay, I have enough that I'm not going to have to uh, like piece together these scraps. I am gonna save them just in case um, maybe I want to use them uh, on the spread in a different place. And I'm going to like flip, whoa, flip this around so that um, like the color gradient isn't exactly the same. Um, and I see some sun coming in. I'm going to have to go go fix that in a second. I'm going to have to adjust my blinds. I am filming after work. There aren't very many videos up to this point uh, that I have filmed after work because it's been, you know, too dark. But now that it stays light later, it is five, a little after 5.30 and it's still um, really light outside. So... That's nice, now I can do a little filming after work. All right, let me fix the blinds. Okay, that is better. Now let's take two more strips. And again, I, I'm going to uh, like sort of flip the, um, the stickers so that the color gradient is a little bit different from the top. Oops, I cut my page a little bit. Okay, last one. And this one will go this way. So if you haven't checked out my um, Go Wild prep videos, uh, part one, two, and three, uh, they are, um, I'll link them below in the description. You can take a, Take a look at them. If you're interested, you can see all of the other pages that I have created. I know that I've said in other videos, but this is going to be my first go wild and I'm so excited, like so, so excited. Um, I am going to leave this border so that you'll be able to see it. I don't think I wanna cover it up. I think I want you to be able to see, um, to see that washi border. So let's put this here. And then we have this one that I think we'll put down here. So if you've been to Go Wild before and you have any tips for me, let me know. 
And if you are going this year, I would love to say hello. Okay, let's put this Go Wild Dallas right there. Have these like um, the like picture looking things and let's take this other one and kind of feel like I want both of these on the same side. But then what am I going to put on the other side? We do have this one. This is where wax paper would come in handy. I don't have wax paper. Okay, I think we'll put this one down here. And we'll put this one uh, let's put it kind of overlapping up there. We have this smaller one. Let's put that down here. And how about this one? Maybe over here. And then we have this purple sort of like ripped piece. How about down here? And I love this like skyline picture or sticker. <laughs> um, kind of like it up there at the top. Let's do that. Okay, we can put wild moments up here at the top. We have one more of these, it's cut. Mm. I'll put it along the bottom here or on the side here. Or on the side here, let's do that. Let's put it on the side here. I'm gonna have to punch it. Um, I wonder if I, I'll just lift this corner up and stick that over it, kind of layer it on top. So let's peel this up. And then we'll sneak this guy underneath. There we go. Oh, it's looking really cute. Really, really cute. Put this here. And I could put some like regular boxes in. I might do that. I have another one of these right there. Oh, that's like right across from that one. Don't like that. Maybe up here. Okay, let's take a look in this book and see what else kind of goes with this theme. So none of that will go. So we can use, maybe we can put in a couple of these like hats and like some of these boots. Let's use this little planner um, and maybe some of those like mild liners. Let's put this down here. Kind of want to cut around this since we're putting it on top of washi or not washi, but that washi sticker. Maybe some mild liners. Right there. And a little purple bow. Like 
that. How about this little camera? Let me, I think I am gonna use this, but let me grab, I want a, a couple more boxes and I think we will use some black boxes. So I'm gonna just grab maybe like a Mojo Jojo book. Well, let's take a couple of black boxes and maybe even some with lines. Is that kind of crazy? I mean, maybe. but I, I need more places to write things. So I'll put this. Oh, that moved at the last second. There, put that there. And then maybe we'll do like a Like one of these with lines. I'm trying to avoid having these right on top of each other. We can put it down here. There. And then maybe like a like a square one up here. Let's do a square one like maybe here. And then another one over here. Let's layer this here. Okay, so now I have some more um, spaces to write some memories in. I want something to fill like this space here, maybe one of these little quotes. This one, living wild, loving hard, staying posh. I like that. Uh, one more song, DJ. That's cute. Maybe we'll put that one up here. Uh, yeah, up here. And then this one we can put down here. And then this says these boots are made from plant for planning. We don't have any boots on here, so <laughs> kind of feel like we need to have a boot with this one, right? So maybe a, like a pink boot. Oh, we're getting sun again. <laughs> oh, I don't know where I want this. All right, how about best day ever? And then maybe this like cowboy hat. I think that's cute. Let's put this like here and then this like here. Okay, I think we're done with these. Let's punch this. I'm just gonna use my Happy Planner punch. There we go. Oh, I did not do a very good job with that, did I? These look really cute. Let's move on to um, the next pages that I'm going to make. I'm gonna fix the blinds again and I will be back with some plain dot grid. The next set of pages that I want to make, one is going to um, be a swag page and this is where I want to have a box for each day and list out all the fun swag that we're given. Um, I haven't been to Go Wild before, but I have heard that there is a good amount of swag and I do plan to, um, when I come home, to film a video of the swag that we get. And I want to make sure that I list everything out and um, am able to give credit to 
um, everybody that generously um, donates. And uh, I'll also be doing a vlog, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm gonna be doing a vlog. So it might be helpful for that too. And then on this side of the page, I think we're just gonna start with like a notes section. So um, I'll just title it notes and kind of decorate it. And then we'll do maybe a couple of pages of notes where I can just, you know, write notes during like all of the speakers and, uh, and things like that. So let's get started with the swag. I'm going to grab some kind of alphabet book. I have plenty thing fun alphabet and We could use like these, this pink color. It might not be, it might be a little bit too bright. Oh, this one's probably much better. Let's see, compare it to like the colors in here. I mean, it's like the same as that darker pink. I don't know, I'm debating if I should do pink or if I should just go with um, black letters. Let's do the pink. We'll make it fun. Um, and should we do some washi? Why not? I mean, we have tons of it, so let's use it. Um, which one, though? You know what? Maybe for these pages, we won't do the washi. And for, like, the next set of note pages, I will. So let's... First, let's make sure that we have SWAG all in pink. Yes, we do. And so let's pull off one of each letter and we're gonna use the, like the big uppercase letters. Grab my tweezers to help get these clear stickers off the page. And then we need a G. Okay, so the W and the A are going to kind of split the center, which I think is right about here. I'm not using my ruler this time. Being daring and like that. I'm gonna put some florals on the bottom here. They're not gonna go all the way across the page, but that's okay. I'll just kind of put them in the middle. And I'm going to want boxes for, so Friday and Saturday are the main, uh, the main days of the conference, but I think I also want a box for Thursday. I know that um, on Thursday is the registration and I have heard you get like a tote bag with a t-shirt. So at the very least, I want to, I want to note that. So uh, let's do, let's do the black boxes again, because I want to use like this size, I think for each day. So we're going to need three of them. Okay, am I gonna be able to fit three of them on here? I think so. If we put one like here this way, we can put one here and then one like down here. I don't like making things look like a face, but we can do that kind of stagger them. So let's put this one up here sort of maybe I'll flip the page and we'll put it kind of as close to this swag as I can get it. I'm gonna leave a little gap because I'm gonna wanna put like a day of the week sticker on there. Oh, I hope that's straight. 
Okay, and then we can put this here. And then another one here. I want it staggered a little bit, so. Yes, let's put this one down here. And then we can do this one this way. I have this giant sticker that says swag bag. There isn't really room for it. We could use maybe this smaller one. Would have liked to use this bigger one, but kind of took up all the space with that floral. But let's go ahead and use the the smaller one. I'll put it over here. This G I feel like needs to move down just a tiny bit. Mm, that's too low. There, that's better. Okay, what else do we want to put in here? I want to put this um, sponsored table by on. So this will be Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Maybe I'll just put like a really small box and we'll put this. That way I can, that will kind of stand out as the, like the sponsored table that I sat at. Let's do maybe like this size box. I'll put this here. And then this um, sponsored table by here. All right, I think maybe we'll put like a little cowboy hat over here. And then I think that that's good. Let me go grab some Day of the Week stickers. And we'll take Rainbow Date It by Mojo Jojo. And let's see if we want to use like pink or blue or even like purple, which color. The purple is really pretty. Let's do the purple. And I think we'll do like this kind of like scripty font. So we want Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, so Thursday will go up here. And Friday here and Saturday. Okay, that one is all set. Now we're going to make a couple of pages that uh, are just for note taking. So I think we'll use the same letters and just spell out notes. Okay, so the middle letter is going to be a T. So let's put the T here, like in the middle of the page. And these pages, this is for swag, this is for notes, but I do want to kind of keep them side by side because they'll be side by side in my planner. So I want to have this as like a reference when I'm decorating this one. So T E and S. All right, so let's put some florals on the notes page. And let's take like these two and sort of put them side by side and kind of coming off the page. So put this maybe like way up here. I'd like to have a little of that greenery in there too. So maybe we're gonna sort of use most of it. And then this one, we're gonna fit sort of like a puzzle right there. Okay, and then 
we'll cut the excess off. How about we put a planner and a pen? I think that that is, those are good stickers to put on a notes page. So you can put that planner there and maybe this pen up here. And I want something down here. How about this coffee cup? I don't love this pen here. I, I like how it looks, but I feel like it's um, gonna kind of be getting in the way of me being able to like take notes in this area. I mean, I could write around it, but can we move it over here? And put it on this page kind of like straight up and down right here in this empty space maybe like that okay now i'm debating if i should put bullets or anything or just leave it i think we might just leave it maybe this page uh the first one so there's these stickers that say llamas i met and places i explored uh, all about my roomie. I'm not going to have a roomie, but these two, maybe we can start with just putting a couple of boxes and let's use like the smaller ones that are in this book. Maybe like the full size boxes that are in this book. So we'll do purple and do I have a full size of that darker pink? I do not. So we can do purple and the light pink or blue? Let's do blue. We'll put this one here. And this. Here and then where were those stickers that I saw? Here's places explored and then llamas I met. That's crooked. Now this box is probably not going to be big enough <laughs> for llamas I met, um, but I can either write really small or I can just write more um, down at the bottom. Maybe I'll throw in another box. Let's take this pink box. Um, and we can kind of layer it. Now I've seen Michelle from Plan On It where she'll put, put a box that like is up against another box and then cut it. I haven't done that before. I have layered boxes, but I haven't done that where you cut the box. But then that kind of would would make this like sort of all one. What do you think? Should I try it? Kind of scared. Okay, so let's get my knife. And let's see. If I can. Oh, Michelle, how do you do this? I think she puts it down first and then cuts it. Maybe she cuts it first. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to come out no bueno. Oh, I did it. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I like that. I uh, need something right here. I don't know if I should put like another box there or can put something I feel like something decorative would look weird because it'd be like boom 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 like three decorative things unless it's a floral let's put this random other part of that flower there 
And then do we have any other kind of quote that we can put? We can put this one, planner friends make the best friends because we're kind of talking about llamas I met. Put that there. Adorable. Okay, let's make the next set of note pages. And for here, for these ones, let's definitely put some washi along the top and the bottom. Uh, let's see, which ones do we have left? So we have like a wide one of this like ombre with the stars and then without the stars. So we could do, oh, I would need it for both sides though. Hmm. I don't really want to use this one again because we just used it on that other one. I could do the stripes like on the top and then this plain one on the bottom. How does that sound? So let's do stripes here. It's starting to get dark. The sun is, it's not setting, but it's, um, I just noticed it definitely got a lot darker in here. And I'm wondering if I should stop the video. I just bought another set of lights uh, for filming. And it, I got it yesterday. I got it off of Amazon. Um, and I'm wondering if I should try and take it out of the box now and <laughs> um, install them and see how they work. Let me redo that because that was not on the edge of the page. go. I've been pulling these a little bit too tight and they're kind of curling my page a little bit, but I think the video is still bright enough. We'll see how much longer this takes. Hopefully it won't take too much longer. I think we're just going to do uh, these pages and then we'll be done. I'll put the pages on the discs and we'll flip through the planner and if I, I may make another page or two, we'll see, uh, but I definitely won't do that um, on camera. If I make any additional pages, they'll be, they'll be um, they won't be filmed. So this will be the last of the, um, like the video series that I'm doing. All right, let's see what we should use here. How about this Stay Wild Cowgirl? Let's put that kind of over here. That's fun. Oh, maybe we should use some of these. I really like this guitar, it's giant. But uh, I think we can put that down here on the bottom. Maybe we'll sort of lay, uh, like overlap the washi. Cute. And we can put a couple on this side. How about some boots? And maybe a jacket. But we'll put it here because I, I do need these pages to take notes, right? So I need to leave myself space to actually write on them. 
can't forget that is the main purpose of these pages. So here we can use these boots are made for planning. We have boots. How about we use this floral? And I'll bring one in on the other side also. Maybe like this one. I feel like it's a lot having like this floral there and this floral there. But I also don't want it in the same spot as that one. Um, let's put that one back. Let's maybe choose a different one. And put it like right here. Well, I guess I could use that one that I had and just put it here. And just trim this little piece off. How about we put 2024 Dallas up here? So, and I think I'm going to kind of stagger them. So we'll do 2024 and then Dallas. All right, I think that's good. Um, let's see, should I make one more page with like these cactus as decor? I don't know, maybe we'll do that um, off camera or not at all, we'll see. Let me get all of this back on the, um, the planner discs. Uh, let's punch this one. And this time I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keepers because the last one I kind of messed up. So we'll put this, uh, we'll use the We Are Memory Keepers punch for this one. Okay, I'm gonna get it back on the disc, I'll be right back. All right, so here she is, all complete. Uh, so this is the cover. Here is my name page that I created. I have my budget, my prep list, my ticket, my outfit plans, packing list, travel plans and hotel info, my agenda, page for all the speakers, and this is the first page for my memories. And then this is the page that we created today for my memories. And a page for swag and some notes and some additional note pages. I am so happy with how this turned out. I think that it looks so cute. I'm super excited to bring this with me. Um, I am beyond excited for Go Wild. Let me know in the comments if you'll be there. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.